Hey, what's up? My name is Karina Pittman. Welcome to my channel. So here we discuss all things falling in line and ultimately going after your dreams. So today I wanted to go over what I would do if I started fresh on Amazon and then of course if you are a beginner what you can do too. So before we get started I do want to let you know I do have a free beginner guide down below which will give you a free wholesaler to get engaged in. So the first thing I would personally do if I was selling on Amazon is I would first figure out what I could sell. So if we're talking about a brand new account, no ungating, no nothing, like just open the account today, I would figure out what I can sell. Most people can sell grocery, home stuff. Actually, I have a short on it on my channel that you can find which breaks down the categories beginners can sell in. If it were me, I would start with my kitchen. So since we are in my beautiful kitchen here, I would start with grocery. So taking that category, knowing that as a beginner, I could sell in grocery, I would start scanning the heck out of this place. I will open all the cabinets, I will open the fridge, and just scan. Now, what is going to happen when you're scanning is, A, you're gonna learn how to use the Amazon Seller app, or if you use Scatify too. And then number two, you can understand the rank, and how things are listed in the different prices, and playing with numbers. So the more you get adjusted to that and understanding, the quicker it's gonna be in the long term. And then number three is while you're at it, your home, this is stuff that you enjoy clearly because you have it at home and you could scan and see what you could sell. If you see that this applesauce is selling on Amazon, what you can then do and you realize that it's a good rank, a good profit or whatnot, what you can then do is reverse search this bad boy and then go see what the price is at Costco, plug in the numbers, if you could sell it, you have your first product. So that is the second thing that I would do. So then the third thing is actually sourcing the product. So you're scanning around the house and you find this applesauce, you can easily do a quick Google search, where's this applesauce at, at multiple different stores, where did you personally buy it from? Did I personally buy it from Costco? Did I buy it from Target? Whatever the case is, do you remember how much it was? Maybe go back to your receipts and then you can plug in those numbers and go from there. And then the other thing is, is my favorite way with grocery is ad sourcing. Ad sourcing, I have a video on it, so I'll link to the video, but basically we'll show you your local store. So you just Sweet Bay, Winn-Dixie, Target, Walmart, Ralph's, Sprouts, Whole Foods, it will show you the ads and what I do personally is straight to the BOGO section. Go to the buy one get one free and then start plugging those into the app and seeing what's profitable. And then since I know that grocery I'm available in and so then that is just essentially what I would personally do. I think it will make it easier and then you have, instead of leaving your house right away, you have a place to scan and then you can get your feet in the water. Really, all it really takes is practice and understanding what is selling, what's a good rank, what's profitable, what ROI, how many sellers, all those little things. Definitely important to start understanding so then as time goes on, you could just be so quick in the store. This is profitable, this isn't profitable, this rank isn't good. So that is really it for today's video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you have any questions at all. Make sure you get that free beginner good before it is gone. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.